In today's video, I want to talk about the difficulty most artists face, where we struggle to enjoy the artistic process because we focus too heavily on the final result of our projects. Hi everyone, Malachi James here. If you've just discovered me and you're an aspiring artist and you want to hear more art, animation and industry related discussions, make sure you subscribe and click the bell so you're always up to date. All right, so I think when it comes to artists producing artwork of any kind, we have a tendency to direct most, if not all, our attention on how it should turn out. Now, I'm not saying it's wrong to have goals. I do believe it is important to have some sort of aim or direction for your work, but it's certainly the obsession with a goal that often causes us to fail to fully connect with the process of making. Because the truth is, it's in the sheer concentration where the magic happens. And if we can simply be mindful of every move we make to express whatever it is we want to express in a piece of work, I believe it would lead to a much more rewarding experience. One way to enjoy the artistic process more than the final product is to be aware of your goal, but then during the creative process, we should let go a little bit and we should allow things to happen organically, moment to moment. This helps us become more intuitive and things become more unpredictable, which kind of entertains us because what we're working on begins to feel like we're watching a movie slowly unfolding before our eyes. Another, perhaps more contemporary way to enjoy the artistic process more than the final product is to document the process. Social media is definitely the best tool to use for this because it encourages us to post and publish on a regular basis. And of course, keeping a record of our process helps us to look fondly back at our process. And of course, TikTok is great for this because you can create several posts out of one piece of art, documenting the process. And of course, I'll just put a little plug in there. If you wanna check out my TikTok, it's just type in Malachi the cartoon guy, and I should come up but I'm fairly new to it, so all is well. Learning to enjoy the artistic process also teaches us a lot about how to create more effectively, because when we're enjoying the process more than being frustrated with it, that means we have a better understanding of what we're doing, and of course, that comes with practice. When we're aware of the technical and expressive requirements we need to achieve the look we want, we're naturally more likely to enjoy the process. So yeah, practice. Learning and applying knowledge is the most important thing above all else. Continuing to work while frustrated usually isn't a good idea because we stiffen up trying to redo the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. So I like to step back, take a break, and come back to my work with fresh eyes. And almost nine times out of 10, I discover what it is that was bothering me and exactly how to fix it. And the occasional hesitant mark making you may be witnessing in this speed painting might be an example of my creative frustration and failing to fully connect with my enjoyment of making the piece in the first place. A personal thing I've realized about myself is that no matter how frustrated I am, no matter how time consuming a project is, no matter how difficult it is, once it's finished, I always look back on it in a sentimental way. Wishing I had enjoyed the process more, but also realizing that I did enjoy it somehow, because I'm the type of person that feels good about myself if I have some sort of project going on. I try to remind myself of this while I'm working on something so that I can be mindful of the enjoyment I truly am feeling during the artistic process. And I do believe that it's the process that truly makes us who we are as artists. So it's something we've always got to remind ourselves of, to never overlook, no matter what we're doing. 
I've even got to remind myself right now, as I'm talking into this big old microphone, that I am, indeed, enjoying the process of making this video. I've left a link in the description below to view the finished drawing on my Instagram. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, whether you agree or disagree, or if you can relate to my experiences. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with friends. Stay positive, everyone. Keep creating. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.